Hello, and this is Andrew with Bay Area Environmental News. Today we're bringing you a special report on fish farming. But first and foremost, let me tell you a little bit about fish farming. Fish farming is the fastest growing business in the food production industry today. We have interviewed several people for this special report, and we will bring you the interviews in just a moment. Let me just let you know that fish farming encompasses all types of fish. We're talking sea bass, salmon, cod, all types of fish are used on fish farms. Currently, I'm in China with Mr. Chang, a local fish farmer who's been in the industry for over 10 years. Mr. Chang, can you tell me a little bit about the fish farming business? Yeah, of course. The fish farming is a, is a booming business today because uh, while fish in the ocean as well as fresh water are depleting, the industry is growing so fast. For instance, in 1950, uh, total aquaculture production is only about uh, 1 million tons per year, but in 2008, it has surpassed to over, over 50 million tons per year. Nearly 50% of the fish in the marketplace today come from farms. In addition, aquaculture production is more beneficial to the environment um, as compared to other form of uh, meat production by requiring uh, less caloric intake and also put less stress uh, on the ecosystem to produce the same amount of uh, protein. Fish farming provides cheap prices to consumers. Without fish farming, can you imagine how much a fish taco would cost today? I would imagine probably uh, cost as much as a, a gallon of gas. Uh, region big in fish farming around the world, including me, of course, China, other Asian countries, and uh, as well as Africa and South America. The biggest market, however, for our farm fish include the US, the Europe, as well as Mexico. So, Mr. Chong, can you tell me what made you get into fish farming initially? Yeah, of course, uh, Andrew. Why don't you follow me? I, I'll tell you why. Um, you see my boat right here? Yeah. This is my fishing boat back in the day. I spent like, over a million dollars on it. But unfortunately, in 1997, when the tsunami came, knocked it to uh, shore, and it became a wreck ever since then. And after that incident, I decided to go into uh, fish farming. And uh, why don't you follow me? I'll take you onto my uh, little rental boat that I have right now, and then I'll take you to my uh, fish farm. We're now going to go out into the public and interview a few people from the street and see what they have to say about fish farming. Sir, can I ask you a question? Uh, yeah, that's fine. I just want to ask you a simple question about fish farming. Would that be okay? Uh, yeah, sure. What's, what's, your, what's your name, sir? Uh, Tommy DeVito. Tommy DeVito. It's nice to meet you. My nice name is Andrew. Hi, Andrew. I'm uh, just going to ask you a simple question um, about fish farming. We're doing a whole report. Would that be it's all good? Yeah, that's fine. We'll okay. Um, so did you know that farmed fish have less healthy omega-3 fatty acids compared to wild fish. You know what? I actually didn't know that. Um, I actually take omega-3 for my cholesterol. Not that I have cholesterol, but you know. Uh, but you know what? Um, I don't think it really affects me as much because I, mean, I only eat fish every now and then. I'm more of a beef and chicken and stuff like that. But, uh, but thanks for the info though. Thank you guys. Hey, sir. Thank you. Sir, can I ask you a question? Hey. Uh, could I ask you a question about fish farming, sir? Uh, see, si. yeah, sure. Sure. Okay, great. What's your name, sir? Uh, Julio Iglesias. Julio Iglesias. Nice to meet you. So, Mr. Sure. Igle Mr. Iglesias, yes. did you know that uh, fish farming companies today are dosing all their fish with antibiotics, and this is increasing the resistance uh, of the human population to antibiotics worse than it, the problem that's already going on? You said fish farming? Yeah, fish farming. <sighs> yeah, you know, I remember in... Uh, Culiacán, Michoacán, you know, where I'm from. There's a lot of fish farming over there, too. Uh, but uh, I didn't know about that. Antibiotics, huh? Uh, wouldn't that just make us healthier? I mean, because uh, we have antibiotics in our bodies all the time? I, I see how, uh, I mean, you could think that that's a, you know, straight, logical way to go. But actually, that would increase resistance and make the problem worse that's currently going on. Hmm. What kind of anti antibiotics? Um, well, m one main one that there, a lot of companies are using are fluoroquinolones. Never heard of that. So you're trying to say I should stop eating the cheap fish? 
Uh, it'd be better if you ate wild fish, but um, it's up to you, sir. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, th thanks for the, the info, I guess, you know. You want to help me? Uh, I, wish I, I, I wish I had time, but, uh, you know, yeah. Um, good luck with all that. You got a nice vehicle here, and keep doing what you're doing. Well, thanks. All right. Thanks for the info. Thank you very much. Let's go. So I'm here now with Professor X, an environmentalist. So, Professor X, why do we resort to fish farming? Uh, well, Andrew, uh, one of the main reasons is perhaps uh, market pressures to provide an ever-increasing uh, supply of food. As you can see on the graphic, that um, despite evolving fishing technology, the worldwide catch seems to have plateaued um, at about 90 million tons a year since the mid-1990s. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization uh, issued a 2006 report declaring several major fishing grounds around the globe are now nearly 80 percent depleted. In 2011 it was estimated that stocks of large fish such as cod, sharks, and tuna have dropped by as much as 90 percent globally. This graphic is a representation of the world fish supply. As you can see it is in a rapid state of decline. What is more if the rate of decline continues at the same pace, then I and some other scientists predict that complete depletion of the ocean will occur by about the year 2048. What is wrong with fish farming? Uh, well, Andrew, um, first of all, it's, it's inefficient. Uh, about two pounds of wild fish is needed on average to produce one pound of farmed fish, uh, which despite intuition actually leaves the ocean at a net loss. Uh, the other issue uh, is with sea lice, uh, which are naturally occurring parasites of wild salmon. Um, but because there's so many fish raised uh, in uh, uh, fish farming, uh, this contaminates open water um, fish as well and drives, uh, can, near, can drive nearby populations of wild fish to extinction. Um, there are also, uh, there's also high contamination in areas of fish farming um, for example, a large salmon farm can pour as much liquid waste into a sea as a small city. And regarding genetically modified salmon, which are engineered to grow twice as fast um, as regular salmon, uh, there are worries that, uh, about some possible effect on human health. Also, there is a concern that genetically modified salmon escape into the wild and can possibly outcompete wild salmon. What methods can you recommend to improve fish farming? Um, actually, Andrew, there, are, uh, there was a fish discovered in Australia. It's called uh, Barramundi. This fish is rich in omega-3 oils. Less than 20% of the Barramundi's feed comes from other fish, which is a much better percentage than for many farmed salmon. Plus, Barramundi tastes really good. The real challenge is convincing people in the United States that they should eat this unfamiliar fish from Australia. I would recommend as an ideal method of fi um, fish farming is using containment pens built on the shore. There's no water pollution. There's no risk of fish escaping into the wild. However, production costs are expected to be about $2.20 more per fish than open water farming. And this is double what it costs to raise a salmon um, in a fish farm in open water. Um, so if this method of fish farming can be made feasible for the majority of aquaculture, uh, then fish farming will indeed become the most sustainable method of producing animal protein for the planet. Thank you. Thank you.